today I thought I would play with one of my wigs. This is Sima by Raquel Welch in Shaded Biscuit. And I've had this wig for over a year. I've worn it loads and lately I've been wearing it scooped back like this, clipped back with a clip. I have another one of those that I haven't worn yet, which, um, I mean, it's not new, not that I just got it now. I've had it for a while, but I, I haven't worn it. But when I tried it on, I've noticed that the curl pattern is a bit different. It's not, it doesn't have the same curl at the front. And unfortunately, that's the deal with wigs. So if you ordered 50 wigs, the same wigs, they all would slightly vary when it comes to their uh, curl pattern. And I, I suppose that's un Understandable. I don't know how you can make so many wigs and make them all look exactly the same. So I thought I would try to put a cow in it. So here it is. As you can see, the front is much straighter than on this one. And this is wig defiant fiber, which means you can style it with heat up to 180 degrees, which I think is 350 Fahrenheit. So I thought today I will try put a curl in it. I have never done it with um, most of my wigs are heat defiant, but I have never really styled them because I think to myself, well, I, I get a wig because I like the style, so why would I change it? But as you can see, sometimes you might want to add a bit of a curl or, or maybe straighten it. So today I'm going to attempt to give it some curl in the front. Okay, so as you can see, this one is much straighter at the front and also I have it parted on the side they are usually part. You know, wigs usually come parted on the left. So let's have a look which side this looks better on. Because this wig has a full monofilament, which means you can part it on any side to give you that natural uh, scalp look. That's strange, this one doesn't really lie that well on the left. Hmm. Right, let's do it. It seems to want to be on that side. So let's gently brush it. I'm going to use these H and S tongs. This is a good thing to do when you first put a wig on. You put your hands on the lace front here and very gently in small circular motions go like this. That will sort of almost melt the lace into your forehead and it might give you these little like baby hairs as well right what's this at 180 so i think i will take that one first i don't know if it's better doing it that way or not clamping it because with wigs and you need to almost hold the curl don't let it down so it doesn't straighten just let it cool down first before you put it let it down there that's good okay let's pick out another bit a bit thicker one Maybe I shouldn't start so high up. Okay, let's try it that way. And again, when you let that go, hold this curl up. Otherwise, it doesn't seem to want to stay. Just let it cool down a bit. You see? Oh, I'm liking it. Okay, let's do this one now. 
yeah this is definitely more tricky than your own hair so the thing to remember is when you take this tool off to hold it in that position hold that curl you can always spin them as well and just let it cool down slightly before you let it down like I don't want it too curly so I will pull it down a bit while it's cooling down I think I should really have a um, bigger barrel see if I let it down it just stays straight so you need to do this and then try to grab this curl which is not very easy and hold it yeah look at that okay it's a bit more curly than I wanted it to be but Okay, let's do some on this side. That's definitely the trick to hold the curl while it's cooling down, otherwise it won't work. Yay, I'm really enjoying doing this. Oh, I like this one. Okay, let's do one here. Stay there. You can also style them with um, hair dryer, I think. Oh, really like it right this one I have to be very careful because the ones around your face don't want them to be that curly maybe I start a bit lower I want to let out the end that's it Yeah, you don't even have to hold it for too long as long as you hold it for a bit and now once I've done that if I wash this wig it will go back to this style with the curls so that's a good thing that you only have to do it once and even when you've washed it it will have that memory and you will go back to this style if I didn't want to have it straighter I would have to straighten it okay we've got some more curls but now I feel like I need to do odd one here and there you know I will get carried away and I end up with Shirley Temple <laughs> okay so if you want them more wavy like this and that's what I should have gone for just hold your tool on your hair for a much shorter time I feel like I need to maybe do one here now now I want this to be a bit up so I'm just going sort of massage this so it gives me that swoop I 
let it cool down. I feel like this needs to be curled now. I'm telling you, I'm going to end up with very curly hair. You have to be careful not to burn yourself doing this. Yeah, it looks like these bits are now too, sh too straight. <laughs> now this is a bit a thicker piece of hair, so I hold it a few seconds longer. This is good. Made it a bit too curly at the front, I think, but it's not too bad, is it? Shall we give it a quick wave here, or will it be too curly then? Okay, I think I leave it there. I don't want to put any in the back, but it's not just hanging straight like you did at the beginning. Um, yeah, what do you think? Is it a bit overdone now? It's a bit more glam, isn't it? I can always like quickly run it straight through it to make them a bit straighter, but I think I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so I thought that would be helpful if you wanted to see how to do it. So the most important thing is obviously don't have your tool too hot. Let me turn this off. And when you wind your hair up, depends how curly you want it. If you want to curly it, keep it for a bit longer. But always grab that curl when you're taking out the tongue. And hold it. It only needs like five seconds of holding and the curl stays in. Otherwise, if you just wind it up then let it go, it will be straight. Um, so I suppose it's got that memory in it. Obviously, it's not going to behave like real hair. Okay, my lovelies, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.